Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to have you here with me. I've got some exciting news. Um, before we get into the nano stuff, I wanted to update you with what's happening in our personal life. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Kathy. Uh, currently, I am known as Maui Shmoo on the channel. Um, but yeah, we're moving. Oh my gosh, we're moving. Okay, so um, we've been living in this one little bedroom uh, at our family's house since we've moved back from Maui. And so tomorrow we are actually going to be moving into our own apartment. I am so excited to get into an apartment. It's a one bedroom and oh, coming from a studio and then this little bedroom, a one bedroom is going to seem like way too much room. So yeah. Um, so tonight we pick up the keys tomorrow we start moving. We don't have a whole lot to move, but our son is coming to help us because we do have some a, a rather large um, love seat to carry and some odds and ends and things and boxes. So he's gonna come help us. And then there's, um, we ordered new furniture. So that'll be here tomorrow too, um, because <laughs> we sold everything when we went to Maui. Um, in hindsight, we probably should have put it in storage and just paid for storage, but we kind of wanted to start over. And so it was a lot of fun just to say, oh, well, we're, <laughs> we're starting over. Okay. So tomorrow we're moving and, um, we, we've ordered, uh, we've ordered enough furniture for the, the house. So, um, our next video, I will do a little tour of the, um, the new place. And yeah, so, um, what else do I want to say about that? Not much. I mean, I, I spent the morning. I haven't done any work on my Nano today um, because I've been packing our last minute stuff because we had originally thought we were going to be here with our family for a couple of months um, until January at least or even March. And it turned out that we're not, that we were able to get an apartment. Um, and so, yeah, so we're, I ended up having to repack everything that I had unpacked while I was working on my stuff. So <clears throat> yeah, hold on just a second. Okay, so yeah, so that's exciting. We're gonna be moving tomorrow. And so part of that, I'm gonna put, post the video today because I don't know if I'll have the internet. Um, it's supposed to be set up tomorrow, but you know how it goes. Sometimes there's problems, sometimes they don't get to it. So hopefully it'll be up by Monday. Um, and then my next uh, update will be from the new place and I'll give you a little tour. All right, so for those of you who are doing nano, I know um, it can be hard, uh, especially if you're not getting the amount of um, words that you wanna get um, right away. Um, and I've debated about doing this, because, uh, making this video because I don't want to, I don't want to discourage people. Um, this isn't normal. This this pace that I've had um, since we moved back from Maui, I've, I've been blessed with uh, being able to have some extra time to play with, and so I've I've really hit it hard. And I am so excited to announce that as of today, I have 51,562 words. I can't believe it. I did the 50,000. I won Nano. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't dance very well either. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm done with Nano officially. But here's the thing. I am not going to... Uh, I'm not going to go on and update the Nano website because because it's only halfway through and I've officially got the 50,000. But if I go in and, and update the website, it'll bring me up to that 50,000 mark and then they'll throw confetti across the screen and my project will shut down. And so then if I want to continue to keep track of how many words I'm writing, I'll have to start a whole new project to finish the book. So I don't want to do that. So what I'm, my new goal, my new goals, uh, I am going to try to finish this novel by the end of the month. Oh, that's a big, 
that's a big thing because it's going to get busy, you know, Thanksgiving and stuff like that. So it is going to get busier. Um, but that's my goal is to try to finish as much as I can by the end of the month, because I, I want to be able to just say I did it in a month and then I have, uh, December, I can go back in and re and do the rewrites, the edits and all that stuff. So yeah, so that's my new goal. So if you guys can help me, uh, keep on track with that, just drop me a note, encouragement and whatever. Um, I'd appreciate that. And, um, yeah, 50,000. Okay. So I am so excited um, that I'm done. If you have not reached your goal yet, uh, keep going. Don't give up. I am an anomaly. I, I, like I said, I had extra time. Um, it's just me and my husband. And so I have no little ones in the house. I don't have an outside job currently. Um, so at this point in my life, um, I was able to do nano in 19 days because I had extra time and I had a lot of time to myself. So that's not always the case. Uh, usually my books take longer <laughs> to write than this. And so I just want to encourage you, just keep going. Um, oh, did you notice I have a haircut? <laughs> okay, you guys, when I was in Maui, I had longer hair and I didn't have bangs. And so uh, I saw this, I think it was a YouTube video where this woman did something with her hair and she made curtain bangs. And I thought, that looks really cute because I wanted to do something different. But, and I would have gone to have my hair cut in Maui, but um, it was like $50. I'm not kidding. The cheapest one I could find was $50 to cut my hair. So that would have been $50 every time I cut my hair. And I was like, Ugh, I don't want to spend that kind of money. That's a lot of money to spend for a haircut. And especially for just a little trim, I didn't. Yeah, that's too much money. So I did it myself and it came out pretty cute. I mean, if you see, it's, of course, it's been touched behind my ears. So it's a little wacky, but yeah. So it curtain bang and, um, yeah, so, but I really wanted it cut shorter because I'm not uh, crazy about long hair on myself. I've had it for years. I've been trying to keep it for years. And um, it just drives me crazy because I live in hot areas. Like I'm, I was in Maui and I'm in Arizona. And so when it's hot, I usually keep it back in a ponytail or up in a clip. And so for me personally, pfft, it's a waste. I, I just, I never know what to do with it. I'm not good at braiding my hair. Uh, the best I could do was pull it back in a ponytail. And so, um, yeah, so here's what I did. And let me tell you, uh, this is not for everybody and I don't encourage you to do this. I was just bored. And so about two days ago on Instagram, I saw this, uh, I saw a couple people that what they did is they pulled their hair back. These ladies pulled their hair back in a ponytail and they cut their ponytail off. And I thought, now I'm in Arizona, so I could actually go, <laughs> go down and have somebody cut my hair. But I was like, ah, let's try that. And so, <laughs> so I did, I pulled it back, I cut it off and this is how it turned out. I think, of course I pull it back behind my ear. So it's a little wavy, but I think it turned out really cute. Now the back, the back did not come out quite the way I expected it to. It looked really cute up until about here. And then there was like a lip. So I actually went in and in the mirror and I used scissors and I trimmed it a little bit. So the back does look better. Um, I don't know if you'll like it, but I do. Hold on, let me turn around. I'll take a look and see what that looks like. But I did I did uh, trim it a little to blend it so that it's not quite so blunt back there. So be warned, if you do something like this, you need to pay attention to your back. Um, I would have done a lower ponytail if I had known it was gonna do that. So I did fix it to where I am happy with it, but yeah. 
So I cut my hair. I probably will never do that again. Uh, I don't advise it, <laughs> but I was feeling bored and adventurous and that's what I did. So yeah, so I'm so excited um, just to be done, to have that pressure off of 50,000 words because of all the stuff that I'm going to have to do uh, in the coming days. And then I plan, like I said, to uh, continue. Nano is not done for me because I am going to force myself to keep at it and try to get this done before the, uh, before the end of the month. So if you have any ideas, if you have, if you want to comment, um, what are you working on? How are you guys doing? Um, just chat with me, drop me a comment. Uh, don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, yeah. So I think that's about it. I will talk to you later. Bye.